Hi guys, this is Mario from Dual Core Studio. In this episode, I will show you how to use Unity Tile Maps. To follow this tutorial, you can download free assets from Asset Store, link is in the description. First, we want to go on Window, Tile Palette. Let's create new palette, change name and click Create. Save to Palette folder. Now just drag and drop tiles you want to use. That will create tile assets. It's good to organize things, so create folder for them and save. In our project, you can see under tile assets we have this yellow block. Of course, we can select our sprite sheet and import all at once. Just make sure that in import settings sprite mode is multiple and you sliced everything as needed in sprite editor. Ok, now we want to start making a map for our game. As you can see, currently we don't have active tile maps, so let's create one. Go to create, 2D object, tile map. That will create a grid with a tile map. Imagine tile maps as layers. Each tile map has a renderer, so we can choose sorting layer and order in layer. Let's rename this tile map to ground. Now go to tile palettes and see that active tile map is ground. To place tiles, Select one you want and use paint brush. You can use hotkeys, but I just want to show you exactly which brush I'm using. But as you can see, something is not right. We can fix this in two ways. One way is to change pixels per unit in import settings. One block is 32 by 32 pixels, so set uh, pixels per unit to 32. This is one way. Let's return pixels per unit to 100. Another way is to select grid and change cell size to 0 0.32 on X and Y. Nice. Let's see other brushes in tile palette. Of course, we have erase tool to remove tiles. If you want to move tiles, first you need to select them and then use Move tool. It is possible to select multiple tiles. Also, there is this box tool to easily fill large areas. And if you want to erase big area at once, you need to select Box tool and hold Shift. To create collision, select Tile Map and add Tile Map Collider 2D. That will automatically add collider for each tile. For performance reasons, add Composite Collider to Tile Map. Select Used by Composite on Tile Map Collider and set Geometry Type to Polygons. It's better to have few simple polygon colliders than hundreds of box colliders. You can have multiple palettes and tile maps, so let's create another one. Rename it. Change active tile map to obstacles. Now I am adding tiles only to obstacles tile map. And as I said, consider tile maps as layers. I can change layer or order easily, as you can see. If you are making Pokemon RPG style game, on one tile map you should have grass and on another tile map, on top of it, uh, water, trees and so on. Also, you can rearrange palette. Let's create new palette to show you how to edit it. If you want to reuse some tile, just drag and drop tile asset. Let's quickly add these tiles to the new palette. 
To erase tiles from palette, click on Edit and Erase tool. In Edit mode, select tiles to move and use Move tool. Last thing, you can select tile in the scene, go to Inspector and change rotation and scale. You can change color for each tile separately. Instead, choose Tile Map and here you have Global Color Control. That is it, basics for using tile maps. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe button.